aboard the SpaceX launch at uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base in California on Monday were the first ever satellites uh, commissioned in North Dakota uh, from the University of North Dakota. Four, three, two, one, ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go transport. Uh, this from UND, quote, a component of UND's rendezvous and operations for autonomous docking and servicing, our Rhodes mission. A pair of satellites named Rhodes 1 and 2 were launched into orbit on Monday via SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket at Vandenberg. The satellites were developed in collaboration with AVS USA, an engineering firm headquartered in both upstate New York and Spain. They are low-Earth uh, orbit satellites, denoting an altitude of less than 1,200 miles above the Earth's surface, and are currently being operated from AVS. Pablo de Leon, a professor and chair of UND's Space Studies Department, had positive news to report on Tuesday. Rhodes 1 and 2 have made their first orbital passes and established telemetry. That is, Mission Control has received critical data from the satellites. He said this is a critical step in assessing, assessing the satellite's health and viability. Quote, what is important is that you communicate with the satellites and that they are alive, DeLeon said. The nightmare of every satellite designer is that after so much work, waiting, and investment, they are unresponsive once in space for whatever reason. The fact that they are transmitting data is great. Once the satellites are determined to be in good operational health, typically after a period of a few weeks, full control will be transferred to UND, where they will uh, be operated from Odegaard Hall. According to Ron Fevig, Associate Professor of Space Studies and the project's technical leader, a major goal of this mission is to develop UND's operational capacity in the field. The Odegaard School conducts lots of operation, uh, operations, whether that's pilots, UAS, or air traffic control, he said. We're now trying to develop our satellite operations capabilities. De Leon concurred, stating that a successful Rhodes mission could open many new doors. If we are successful, it will open another chapter for the future of our space systems, he said. If we can find another satellite in space and dock with it, chances are that we may be able to either bring it more fuel or have a propulsion module to increase the time in orbit. De Leon added that Rhodes' experimental learning uh, component, with students working directly on the mission's operations, has increased interest among those planning a career in satellite design and testing. When they graduate, these students will be able to say, I was working in the guidance and control of satellites. Sperm, and that's a plus the when you're burn, applying the for down a job. Before hitting the denser parts. Uh, that Final was from burn UND, that the and here's the landing down. of the rocket on a remote-controlled ship. Stage one landing leg deployed. Seco. Stage one landing confirmed. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.